I hit something again. Progress is made. Mech Warrior Living Legends. It's back. You should play it. Welcome back to Mod Library. Yeah! Living Legends has had its ups and downs, but now it's back with the working servers and dedicated mod team. It's an older code, sir, but it checks out. As I make this video, the team's actually released their latest update, version 0.9.4, with a bunch of quality of life changes. So yeah, the team is active. The game's based in the Battletech universe. Most of your favorite mechs will be here. The Timberwolf, Catvolt, Raven. Matches play out as a kind of capture the point conquest style game mode, where damaging enemies, resupplying friendlies with the APC, we'll get to that later, by the way, and taking on objectives will all give you C-bills that will be able to use to rearm, repair your vehicle, be it a tank, mech, or aircraft, or allow you to buy a completely different vehicle. The system is fun, as it gives you a reason to keep your mech alive. Take quite a bit of damage to your Raven, well then fall back to the nearest mech repair bay and power down for some repairs, if you have the cash. Yeah, there we go, and I'm repairing. It's something that MechWare Online's missing, is the whole logistics and combined arms elements that I really miss. I think it's really cool. Bring the systems back online. Um, yeah, she's good. Are you ready for an upgrade? Well then try not to die, fall back and then sell your old vehicle to upgrade to your new one. Even a player as low-skilled as myself having just started playing, I found getting enough money to buy some interesting vehicles during a match not too difficult. Part of the fun in a match is deciding what's best to bring out into the field. Is it an ECM boat to help your teammates stealth? Is it an APC that can rearm, uh, say, your artillery? A brawler mech to get in close to your VTOL aircraft? A bomber loaded down with ordnance that you can fly around with? The choices are dizzying. There's so many of them, and it'll provide hours of interesting experimentation. The control feel right. Even more shockingly, this is built by fans, that these mechs just feel so great. Stomping around custom maps that have their day and night cycles. I mean, look at this. The maps are varied and offer some unique terrain from highway systems that can give mechs slash tanks good sniper positions to open desert warfare with large open areas of dunes to use as fighting positions are great for artillery support. What really makes this game work or mod work? total conversion work, whatever this falls under, is its variety. Living Legends is the only combined arms mech warrior title out. It's the only option. From dropping bombs from a jet to rolling down the street an absolutely epic list of armored vehicles, they even have what I can only describe as a basilisk-like warhammer artillery unit. Look at this it's a thing. drivable, deployable giant artillery cannon yes. that takes teamwork to use effectively. Star Wraith is still alive in his gigantic cannon of justice. Hovercraft even make the list. They're very fast, very, uh, slidey vehicles. Heavy tanks are in there with lots and lots of armor, and that's before we even get into the mechs. When you start a match, you actually start off in simple battle armor. It's small, very low health, but it's crazy maneuverable and a joy to play around with. This is you, outside of your mech. You can jump in and out of your mech or vehicle at any time. Each vehicle has damage zones that can be focused on when firing. Something we've seen in past Mech Warrior timers for ages now, but you can do this in the Cry Engine, which is just weird and awesome. You can sub-target an arm on a battle mech to take out its primary weapons or its legs, the chest section, the list goes on. For ground vehicles like a heavy tank, you can keep dealing more and more damage to one side to break through its armor. Air combat is fun. It's simple and feels like an older battlefield type. Each aircraft in the list has different loadouts, top speeds, and turning radiuses. Having a friendly mech set up a laser designator for some accurate bombing works, or maybe dropping a cluster bomb for some AOE, these are all kinds of things that you can do. They've even got PPCs on them, AC cannons. So depending on what mission you plan on flying, that's the aircraft you're gonna wanna take. Living Legends is built atop the Crisis Wars engine. God knows what they actually kept from the original engine. Now keep in mind, the original game didn't have a system for player phone aircraft, or well, mechs for that matter. Everything has been made by passionate fans, from the trees that seem to hate my mech's legs to the nuclear explosion of my poor catapult going critical in an urban center. Uh, I'm sure that's fine. That's not my fault. Really, the only thing that will remind you of the Cry Engine is the main menu screen that you'll swiftly pass by on your way to the multiplayer server browser. There are no bots or single player campaigns to be found here. It's only multiplayer. Speaking of which, as for player numbers, it's pretty decent. Even playing this morning in the middle of the week, I found myself on a server that still had people lobbing LRMs and PPCs go, go, go. at each other. Ah, oh, friendship is magic. Oh, why were you already dead? 
I'm told weekends are a great time to play as the community has different events that run on Saturdays and Sundays where you'll get full servers up there. I'll be putting some links in the description for those interested in jumping in and having a go and finding out when the next events are going to be. You really owe it to yourself if you're a Mech Warrior fan to jump in. Now, there are a lot of controls in this game, from having active to passive radar, to knowing how to crouch and deploy your vehicles, to how to fly an aircraft, to using the swivel arms instead of the locked forward arms on your mech. I'm going to do a separate video on these functions and how to use them later on as I get more comfortable with the controls of the game. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. I highly recommend you jump in and play this one. It is a pure joy. I'm going to try to bring back these mod library episodes as uh, I haven't done any in a very long time. So it's great to be back editing these up. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Later everybody.